before I put it in the uh, rice? Sure. I that I was uh, maybe trying a few too many wines at the wine and chocolate festival in this year, but at the, uh, oh shoot, what is it? The, uh, God damn my brain. Um, tricky. Alright, so the same day that I bought my alligator jerky, I bought this kangaroo jerky at the same table at the line of truck festival. I just can say that uh, the same rules applied in my buying decisions. Is that burning? Yeah. Oh. It's all right. It's a little uh, scorched, but it's not. It was scorched. It was like doing nothing for a long time, and then now it's doing dark. Finally, I had put butter in there. You knew you probably put it with fat. No, I put, I got ghee, and I put... Nobody who camps has an eat a burn thing in their life. Yeah. It's part of, it's part of the deal. This is you off nonetheless. Oh, yeah. Not too bad though. Depending on the thing, I can smell it. It's like, yeah, it smells like a burn. Not too bad though. I think we're right. I just need my mora. My twelve dollar mora. I'm gonna do a video. How do you select and use a mora? Because every video where someone uses a mora, it's always the same thing. It's hilarious. So I'm using my mora companion. Yeah, I know it's not really the best knife ever. There's there's no moras are great knives. Yeah. But everybody's like, I know it's not the best knife, but it's really working good for me. But it's a cheap knife and it works. Shut up, don't apologize for your knife. Yeah. Great knife. You're okay. Have you ever seen the Bushcraft Black? Yeah. I wonder if I showed it here. Don't watch it, it's on my table. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> All right, so let's give this uh, kinder a little try before I destroy it in my rice dish. Mark, would you want to? Do you want to try my kangaroo? Sure. All right. Yes, please. <laughs> Do that. I'll give him. I'll give him more. It's the first time I've had kangaroo, so kangaroo meat. Oh! Oh man! Oh, that's nine dollars. It's not as good as alligator. No, it's not. It's a nice new choice. It's a good quality. I don't know. It's really good, but... Don't spend your money. Don't spend three times the money on uh, kangaroo. Because, uh... What is the alligator? Oh, beef. It's not bad. It's, you know, no. But if if you saw the my receipt, you'd be like, no, you were you're an idiot. Um, a little bag nine dollars. I don't know that. What? A little bag nine dollars. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. 
put it in some grease. It's okay, it's good. Oh, it's not bad, but it's not. Well, I'll have to ask you for it. Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? Got a little uh, canteen cup cooking slash Tuesday or canteen cup Tuesday on whatever the hell day I decide to upload this. So we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna actually reheat cheesy potato soup with uncured bacon. Cause not every meal has to be complicated and, and tough to do. The only downside to this, one pound six ounces. So it's a bit chunky. I don't know if I would probably would not carry this. But then again, you don't have to do anything. All you gotta do is heat it up, so. And, you know, with the lid on here, and it's got this plastic film on top, you know, I would say that was even waterproof, so. I mean, if you're in a, a boat trip, canoe, whatever, just out on a raft, you could probably just take one of these with you and just, all you gotta do is heat it up with a stove or campfire or whatever, so. Let's get this heated up and see how she tastes. <clears throat> By the way, it was cheap, too, at, uh, I think it was like two dollars and fifty cents at Walmart. So naturally, it would be better probably warmed up a little bit of uh, milk. But since I don't have milk out here, I'm just going to use water. Open this sucker up. Get potato soup splashed all over me. Thank you. Well, it doesn't smell bad. a bit of an interesting look. And a little, a little way to rinse this out, put a little bit of water in. big flame, I just want to heat this, I'm not actually cooking it, so. Alright. So I had to go with the big container since I was uh, running out of, I ran out of the other one real quick, so. I had to up my game. <clears throat> now what I'm noticing in here, maybe I'll give you a better look. view. See what I'm, I'm seeing though is a, is a lack of a lot of bacon and that just won't do. So we're going to kick it up a notch with some Oscar Mayer real bacon.
So this sucker opened up. Remove the oxygen absorber. So those are not good eats. Oops, I threw it all in there. <clears throat> It's already bubbling nicely, so I will. Uh -huh. I'll turn down the heat just a little bit so it doesn't scorch. I'm already seeing bubbles though, that's a good sign. <coughs> Salt pepper shaker. Go run some quick stats. Oh. Get the camera. Sodium is 70, 700 milligrams. One cup is uh, so there's two cups in here at so a total of 600 calories. It's quite a bit. No sugar, 14 grams of protein. I might almost be done. Hmm? Almost. Bubbling bacon goodness. All right, I had to pull it off the flame quick because it, it was starting to scorch a little bit on the bottom. It's not good. You add a little bit of uh, black pepper and Old Bay. Probably got enough salt. It tasted salty enough. Then I got all that bacon in there, that extra bacon, so. <clears throat> all right, let's give this a taste. I smelled a little scorch, but hopefully it's not too bad. Is this what we're doing, taste test? Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. It's not scorched at all. That'd be pretty good. Oh, hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's super, super hot. That's good. Yeah. Two dollars and fifty cents. What is it? Two dollars and fifty cents. I oh, know, but what, what, what am I eating? Oh, it's uh, cheesy potato with pure bacon. That's good. Yeah. Just a little water and some extra bacon and it's good to go. It's really hot. Yeah, it is. Kind of what it looks like. I put too much in. This is what I do. He burn barked it. 
I did a little bit. Yeah. I did too. Hmm. It's not good though. Yeah, it's a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. Nice, cheesy. And you don't have to add extra bacon, but you know, why wouldn't you want to? The bacon has a good chew to it though. It's like yeah. soup and then you get the chew of the bacon. Mmm. Uh -oh. I bought the uh, real bacon recipe pieces. So. I'll tell you what, it's hitting the spot on a cold day. All right, pretty good stuff for uh, $2.50. Some of the bacon pieces stuck to the bottom, a real tragedy. But I'd probably eat this again. It was pretty tasty. I don't want to give up any of the uh, bacon pieces. I'm sure it'll wash right up. See that. Probably had heat on a little too high, but all right, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. I don't even know what we're eating anymore. Uh oh it's my uh, kangaroo. Kung Fu kangaroo. to suck. Oh, oh, Christ, it's still hot. It's been cooling for half an hour. Hmm. What the uh, rice running mix is this? Fried rice? Okay. Oh. Why is that so hot? Did you lift it? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. It's actually got a nice uh, creamy flavor, or a nice yeah. creamy texture. It's really, it's ridiculously hot. Yeah, but it's good. What well, that kangaroo meat has sort of sweetness to it. Well, yeah, if you put it in, in enough teriyaki sauce. Well, I didn't get a lot of teriyaki sauce in the meat, but... Mm -hmm. Like that a little bit. Oh well. No. That's salt too. That's salty enough. Yeah. That's why I'm not adding any. <clears throat> it's not bad, but it's not great. It's okay. If you knew what I paid for that kangaroo meat, then you would say it's just bad. So. I kind of like it. That's good, but the... It's good because the, uh, the meat... Um, the meat hydrated really nice. If you're not getting that chewiness of the no, no, meat, it's, it's actually like... Very tender. Nice. Yeah, very tender. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Yeah, it's really hot. No. Don't, don't eat this right off the stove. That's what I'm saying right now. Because no. obvious. <laughs>